I started shooting this film uh, with my partner, Rono Bir Das, who's the editor and the cinematographer of the film. Um, when we were students at the Film and Television Institute of India, which is the state-funded film school, we just had a desire to document. We had a camera and a recorder, and that's what we were doing. We were taking a lot of interviews. We were shooting a lot of things that were going on in campus. Um, and with no real uh, end in sight. And as the years passed by, um, we finished film school in 2018. And uh, what had started happening was that around the country, many different universities were having protests uh, across India. Uh, and our friends had been documenting those in different universities. And I think they also had a kind of a desire to document without really knowing where the film, what film they were making. And uh, they were very generous and gave us a lot of their footage. So we collected footage from various different universities that our friends had been there. And then we shot some more. And then we started getting a sense of what this film could possibly be. Uh, by the end of the time that we collected all this footage, it became like an archive of memories of five years and almost started feeling like a found footage film. We decided that uh, we could come up with this, um, with this uh, narrative of the love letters to, uh, to be able to talk about all this five long years of things that we had collected. And actually, initially, when we had started shooting on our campus, we had done a lot of interviews with our friends. And inevitably, people talked about love. Because, you know, when you're at that age, uh, these questions of love always are there in your mind. And in India, especially, love is very political. There was a certain uh, feeling that we had gone through in these years and seeing a lot of the images and everything that we wanted to uh, be able to evoke rather than you know give some information to the person watching and maybe evoke some of those frustrations and feelings and vulnerabilities and hopefulness and hopelessness together i have benefited a lot because of public university system my mother my sister and you know it's it's it, without these spaces we uh, it would have been difficult for many generation of people to uh, to have education and public universities were designed in a way to uh, to be modern, you know, to bridge some of these uh, inequalities that are so inherent to our culture, whether it is uh, class or caste differences. Uh, unfortunately, in spite of all the, uh, the, the design of the university that was put into making them, it has failed a lot of people. And so we wanted to talk about that contradiction as well. So I think the public university space itself is this... Uh, is this conflict. Political uh, change is not, cannot come without understanding, you know, um, the social reality of how things are and personal, interpersonal relationships. Because at the end of the day, we live in a democratic country. People are elected into power. So we need to understand how this has happened and why certain choices are being made by people. The film school itself was a kind of a character in the film in the beginning. You know, the whole campus space and everything, it's, uh, it's a very important part. And, if you, and since in our film school, we did have access to a lot of cinema and we did talk about cinema a lot. Uh, and cinema has kind of helped a lot of us arrive at our political understanding as well. Even the kind of texture of the film and what we were trying to evoke, this sort of timelessness and this 16mm kind of uh, image came from a lot of... Uh, films that we had seen, say, like the French New Wave films, or uh, we had access to a lot of uh, East European films. I'm, I'm somebody who loves process, so this really worked well for me. Uh, and I really enjoyed doing all the different workshops and, you know, uh, stages of the, uh, of, of the editing and rough cut and all those things. Because this is the kind of film that was made on the editing table, right? Like we were shooting and editing at the same time, writing and editing at the same time. So you know, it's, it's, uh, you need some markers to help you find the form. I think that when you uh, will have to stop in the middle of your process and present it to somebody already, you know, there are certain gaps in, uh, in your material that you begin to recognize for yourself, which earlier you might have been taken for granted. In India, people are not very uh, uh, keen to watch nonfiction like this. So it was, 
it's not because of the political themes in the film but because i mean anyway there's not much kind of out of industry viewing of a film like this would anyway happen you know because we don't have much distribution uh, no we don't have that many art house cinemas or anything like this it's been nice to show it in the places that we did shoot and especially in my film school and that was i think the most important thing for me to be able to show it to the students there Thank <laughs> you.